faith and I'll be showing you five different ways how to fold a pre-fold. You will need a cover, a snappy, a pre-fold, and obviously your baby. Hello. The first fold you can do two different ways and it's called a pad fold. You'll have the seams facing you and all you do is try fold it. That's it. There's your pad fold. The second way to do a pad fold is instead of folding right at the seams, you'll fold it the other way. So this is also a pad fold. But you'll have a lot more absorbance right in the middle, which is a good fold for girls. And then you'll just pair it with a cover, just like this, and put it on your baby. I usually pack fold my pre-folds beforehand, so they're all ready to go whenever the baby needs a diaper change. And you'll just snap the cover all the way around and make sure that there's no pre-fold sticking out. See like this little corner right here? Make sure it's all tucked in under the cover. Or else you will have leaks and you might have to change the whole diaper plus their outfit. So that's a pad fold. The second way is to do an angel wing fold. An angel wing fold is have the seams right at the front facing you and your goal is to make wings right at these corners. So you'll fold it like this and there's your first wing. And then you'll fold it like this and that's your second wing. And then it's ready to go on your baby. So you'll pull it over, put one wing around your baby, the second wing around your baby, and you will need a snappy for this because it has a very high chance of going undone if you don't. You could make it work without a snappy by just tucking everything in really well with a cover, but I recommend you use a snappy. This is a snappy, it has three little things. And on one side, they have little claws, and then they have this little plastic thing. So the first side, I usually just put the claws in, and then hold it in place. And the other side, I'll grab the plastic part, and pull it, and just put it into the pre-fold. That's it, so it holds on both sides. And then I do the same thing here. Hold the plastic little thing, and then pull it, and then there. It's holding everything in. Uh, the baby can walk around like this just to get like fresh air, but if you want it to be waterproof, you'll have to pair it with a cover. And so you'll just put your baby on a cover and then pull the cover over and just make sure everything's tucked in. It's a lot harder to do it on bare, so soft. But you get the concept how to put a cover on a baby. <laughs> so all you do, snap it in or use Velcro. I like my snaps, so see all that? You should not have that sticking out. And then, oh, and that. Make sure everything's stuck in. There, this baby's ready to go. So that was an angel wing fold. There's also a newspaper fold. This pre-fold is a little too small for this bear and I don't have longer pre-folds. But a newspaper fold is mostly for longer pre-folds. So pretend this pre-fold is this long and you don't want your pre-folds to go up to the neck of your baby. And so you'll use a newspaper fold so you can have a lower rise. And I'll show you how to do it with a small pre-fold. But it works best with long pre-folds. So you have the seams facing you. You'll fold in the front just how much less of a rise you need. So if the bear has, you know, like if the, on a belly, it's over the belly by this much, you'll fold it that much. So you fold it like that. That way it goes down the rise just how much you'll need it. And then you'll have to make little corners here, just like an angel wing fold. And so there's a little wing and there's the second wing. And now it's ready to go on your baby. 
this fold is way too small for the bear, so I'll just show you just like this. And then bring the wings over, and bring the second wing over, and then snappy it. There's your snappy. There's one. Hold the plastic, pull it over, hold the plastic, pull it over, and it's ready to go. Now obviously you'll use a bigger pre-fold. This is way too small for a baby. Now I'll show you a jelly roll. You can either do it one at a time like this by rolling in the little middles of the diaper and then do it the other side. Like roll, 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 roll. Like that. Or you can do it at the same time. I usually do it at the same time because after practice, it's not too hard to do it all at once. And that's it. And then these little corners right here don't have to be rolled in. So you'll have them flared out when you put it around your baby. And I'll show you right now. So there's your baby. You'll pull this over like this. And then the back parts don't have to be rolled in. So you can actually wrap it around your baby like that. Just like that. And then snap it in like usual. Here's your snappy. One side, hold it in place. Pull it on the plastic, hold it in place, and pull it again. There, it's ready to go. This is the best fold for newborns. See all this stuff that's rolled in? It'll have a very good um, protection from the newborn poop because their poop is very watery, but this fold will keep everything inside. And when you have a cover, and you'll use a jelly roll fold, everything might stay in the pre-fold. So you can actually reuse a cover more than once because nothing will get on the cover. So this is how it looks like with a cover to make it all waterproof. And so when the baby goes number two, with this fold, you'll have a high chance of having everything inside the pre-fold so you can reuse a cover. But with a pad fold, when it's just a pad folded, you'll have a high chance of having poop on the cover and you won't be able to reuse the cover. So this is a good fold for newborns. Now I'll show you how to do a bikini fold. This is a good fold for girls as well, just because you'll have so much absorbance right in the middle. And this pre-fold is tiny, but I'll still show you how to do it. I hold it at the top and then you just twist and then have those little corners sticking out like that and corners there and look at all this absorbance right in the middle so this might not work for poop because poop might just leak out but this is really good for absorbency and then you'll just pull it over wrap it around the baby and then snap it in like usual one side the other side and on the bottom. And obviously this pre-fold is way too small, so it kind of looks funny. <laughs> but you get the concept of that all you do is take your pre-fold and then twist in it. And that's it. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.